Police departments from all over the country coming together today with the communities they protect. It's to try and bridge any gaps in their relationship by enjoying a night out. NBC 5's Carolyn Sistrand was at the event in Essex and explains why this event comes at a good time for the Vermont town. Uh, I think my favorite might be police officers. Eight-year-old Mason and his two brothers were excited to meet the police officers. We're going to yeah, that ambulance. And get the chance to see what first responders do every day. Really cool. Mason learning about the people that answer the call to help others during the national night out at Essex High School. It means a lot. They mean a lot to us. Essex Police Chief Ron Hogue hoping to create a stronger bond between his department and their community. In the police department, we depend on our, our citizens as much as they depend on us. This event full of fun things coming just weeks after the Essex Police admitted they had made a mistake by charging a black man for assault after police responded to an altercation at a home. Brandon Williams was injured. Only after he provided video to police did the department take back the citation, admitting their department needs more equity training. Training. The police did apologize for their mistake. Sometimes things happen and, and it may uh, cause the public to, to question their their complete uh, faith in the police department. This outing providing them with a chance to have an open conversation about policing in their town. Always important that um, um, police departments and um, with the fair and partial in policing and um, she always be out here um, working and communicating with um, the community, youth and families. In Essex, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News. Now, the state's attorney's office is now in charge of the investigation in the incidents involving Brandon Williams. Essex's police chief told us last month that charges against the other individuals could be issued.